Will you have out with you? I'm or about half in it. Amen. Hallelujah. Turn with me tonight in your King James to Luke the 18th chapter. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I was thinking earlier as prayer service kept going and the spirit of prayer was in here so much I was I was thinking that several years ago now when we were in Ireland over there <clears throat> someone said they would come to our church but we prayed too much. Mm. Hallelujah, hallelujah. That church prays too much. That's a pretty good label to have, I think, Amen. myself. Amen. Amen. Right. I was kind of proud of that myself. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Because if there's one thing that us as Christians don't do, we don't pray enough. Amen. 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 So for somebody to say that church prays too much, I kind of kind of made me puff out my feathers and amen hallelujah be a little proud about it yes sir <clears throat> hallelujah not that it was true because mm -hmm. none of us pray enough and we didn't pray too much we needed to pray some more amen, amen. just happened the time or two they showed up the spirit of prayer was there in such a great way we just can't we we don't quench the spirit amen oh, hallelujah amen. if that's the way the lord's going you might as well just deal with it that's the way we're going. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. That's one of the things that I love so much about Brother Dave and his guitar. Listen to me. It don't matter if you can pick like Roy Clark and sing like Elvis. If you can't follow the leading of the Spirit, you ain't of no use to God. Amen. Oh. It takes the anointing to destroy the yoke, and it takes Amen. the spiritual discernment to follow the Spirit of the Lord. Yes. I have seen people yes. more talented than me get up and sing and while the spirit of prayer was there they'd start singing something 100 miles an hour yeah and i would think what are you doing yeah amen Question. what are you doing and it wouldn't be long till the spirit of prayer was no longer there right. Right. amen right. because it won't stay where it's like a dove when it comes in like that you can quench it and shoo it off really amen easy. amen so it's worth more than its weight in gold if you can follow the leading of the Spirit of God. Amen. Right. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. My, my, my. So we may not sing the best. We may not look the best. We can't preach the best. But we have learned to follow the Spirit of God. Amen. Amen. And that's what's most important. That's right. Amen. That's what's most important. Hallelujah. We don't need to get in the way. We need to get out of the way. Yeah. Amen. The Lord Hallelujah. Pray. I got in the way before. Boy, and he whipped me good too. All Amen. Right. Hallelujah. And I knew it. Oh, yeah. I done missed you. Yes. Hallelujah. We're flesh. We'll probably miss him again. Amen. But to the best of our ability, we're going to try to follow the Spirit of the Lord. Yes. Amen. Amen. If he moves in like that, we're going to follow Let the way Lord he wants. Move. Amen. Let the Holy Ghost have its Come way. On. Amen. Amen. Let right. the, the Bible says pray that the Word would have free course. Amen. Right. Hallelujah. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. liberty. Amen. And you got to let the Spirit of the Lord move. Right. Amen. you got to let it. Right. Say, you mean you can stop it? You most certainly can stop it. Yeah. Amen. You close the door in the Spirit of the Lord's face and He'll leave. True. Amen. I've seen it. Come on. I've seen it. He won't force Himself on anybody. Right. Amen. You have to yield yourself. Right. To the Holy Ghost and the moving of the Spirit of the Lord. Amen. I don't know where this is coming from because this ain't up here on the notes. And I'm not going to preach on this. But you have to yield yourself to the moving of the Spirit. Yeah. Because He will not force feed you. He will not push you into the gates of heaven like I said the other morning. You're going to have to yield yourself to the Spirit of the Lord. In order for Him to move upon these old vessels of clay. We're going to have to get our old flesh out of the way. Amen. Yeah. And yield to His Spirit and follow Him. Yes. Let the Lord have His way. Come on, bro. Amen. That's Come what's on. most important. It's not most important if I get to preach my message. What's most Come important on. is that the Spirit of the Lord has its way. Yes. Free. It's not most important that I sing. Free. Amen. It's that the Spirit of the Lord has its way. Yes. Amen. Amen. That's what I want. Exactly. Above all, Absolutely. when I pray for this church yes. to prosper, I pray for this church to prosper first and foremost and always. Yes. In His Spirit and in His Word. Amen. Oh. In the Spirit and in the Word. Amen. Amen. The rest of it, what well, the Lord take care of. Amen. Amen. We just need to follow the Spirit of the Lord. Right. That's true. Going to talk for a few minutes tonight about prayer. Come on. Not just prayer, but faithfulness in prayer. Mm -hmm. The Bible says in Luke, the 18th chapter, Come on. in the first verse, mm -hmm. And He spake a parable unto them to this end. 
Meaning the parable that he's getting ready to tell them is going to be about this subject. That men ought to always to pray and not to faint. So Jesus is getting ready to show them an example of how we should pray. Of how they should pray. Amen. That's what this parable is for. He would give them parables for lessons. Mm -hmm. An example. Amen. True. I want to show you an example. And I'm so glad he did that because sometimes it takes, you know, a picture and a poem and a, something to get me to understand what it is. Because mm -hmm. I'm not the brightest. Amen. I'm not the sharpest pencil in the box. So he has to draw me a picture and let me see it. I can understand that. Amen? Amen. And that's what he was doing with these people. Yeah. He said, I want to tell you, I want to show you a parable that has to do with your prayer life. Come on. Say that there was in a city a judge right. which feared not God, neither regarded man. Come on. And there was a widow in that city, and she came unto him saying, Avenge me of mine adversary. Come on. And he would not for a while. But afterward he said within himself, Though I fear not God, nor regard man. Yet because, and remember what he's talking about. He's talking about prayer. Yet because, yet because this widow woman troubleth me, I will avenge her. Lest by her continual coming she weary me. Amen. In this, we know that this woman did not just come one time. Come on. She came once. Right. And she said, Avenge me and my adversary. Yeah. Now, a large part of the church world today, believe it or not, would tell this woman, Okay, you've asked. You don't have to ask anymore. As a matter of fact, they would say to her, it's a lack of faith if you do ask more than once. Anybody ever heard that before? If you haven't heard it before, you'll hear it sometime. Amen. 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 They don't even go as far to say that you're not supposed to ask but one time. Right. If you ask any more than that, it's showing unbelief. Well, I submit to you today that it takes more faith for you to ask the second time when nothing happened the first time. It takes more faith for you to ask the third time whenever nothing happened the second and the first time. It takes more faith for you to ask the fourth time when nothing happened the third, the second, or the first time. Amen? The more you ask and the, and the more that you don't get it, the more faith it takes for you to continue to knock. Amen. And he said that the Bible says after a while. Now we don't know for sure how long this woman came. But she could have got discouraged. Amen. She could have said, well, it ain't going to do me no good. And I imagine she had some friends that told her, it's not, how long have you been asking that judge that? How many days have you been going there and pleading with him to avenge you of your adversary? How many years have you been praying that prayer? How long you been, the devil will say this to you, how long have you been praying for that brother of yours? Amen. How long have you been praying for that friend of yours? Amen. I want you to look at him. Right. You've been praying for him and ain't nothing any better than it was. Matter of fact, looks like he keeps getting worse. Come on. Maybe that's the way it was with this woman. Yeah. She asked this man to this unjust judge to avenge her of her adversary over and over and over. And the more she asked, she still didn't get no answer, and the situation may have been getting worse between her and her adversary. Amen. The more she asked, the worse things might have been getting. Come on. Remember, he's telling us a parable. This has to do with prayer. Yes. Yeah. And he would not for a while, but afterward he said within himself, Though I fear not God, nor regard man, yet because this widow troubleth me, I will avenge her, lest by her continual coming she weary me. Day one, she didn't get nothing. Day two, she didn't get nothing. Day three, she didn't get nothing. Day four, she didn't. However long this goes on. Right. Through the discouragement put on her by others. Right. Through the discouragement of her flesh telling her, what are you doing? Why do you continue to do Is it really worth it? Why do you even try? Come on. Amen? Come on. Because, <laughs> because when it didn't happen the first day, uh -huh. she knocked the second day. Yes. When it didn't happen the second day, right. she knocked the third day. Come on. When it didn't happen the third day, she knocked the fourth day. Come on. She kept coming. She kept coming. She kept pleading her case. She kept asking. She kept asking. She kept asking. Some people failed to receive because they quit asking. Right. 
They became weary and fainted and they stopped praying. It says, what did it say? Men ought always to pray and not to faint. This woman continued to pray. Amen. She continued to ask. Jesus says in verse 6, And the Lord said, Hear what the unjust judge saith. And shall not God avenge His own elect, which cry day and night unto Him, right. though He bear long with them, I tell you that He will avenge them speedily. Come on. Now it's important for us to know His time and ain't our time. Amen. Yes. Amen. Speedily for God may not mean speedily for Cindy Hicks. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. 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 What, what God considers a speedy answer may not, what, may not be what Reese Douglas considered a speedy answer. Amen. Because we don't like to wait for nothing. Amen. We like to push a couple of buttons, amen, and it's done. Yes. We like to pull up to one thing and say, I want a Big Mac and some fries and a soda pop and drive up and get it two minutes later, amen. And if we don't, we get angry about it. Amen. We live in a generation that likes everything instant, amen. We like instant potatoes. Yes. We like instant everything. Push a button and get it. Come on, preach. So God's idea of timing. Right. And Brother Dave's idea of timing. Come on. And Brother Billy's idea of timing. Right. We might have a different idea of what speedily means. Yes, sir. He says, his own elect which cry one time and then no longer. It says that cries to him what? Day and night. Amen. Amen. That cry to him day and night unto him. Though he bear long right. with them. Come on. See, you may not get to answer to your prayer tonight when you pray. Right. You may not get the answer to your prayer tomorrow. You may not get the answer to your prayer day after tomorrow. Listen to me, I'm not trying to discourage you, but you may not get the answer to your prayer next month. All right. You may not get the answer to your prayer next year. Come on. And the longer it takes, the harder it is for our flesh to push on and keep praying. Amen? Come on. Listen to what he says. I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth. Now listen to me. He just gave us an example of what real faith and prayer and the way it should be in our prayer life. When he comes, will he find that kind of, what kind of faith? <clears throat> the kind of faith that asks and keeps on asking. All right. The kind of faith that knocks True. and keeps on knocking. Amen. The kind of faith that seeks yeah. and keeps on seeking. Amen. The kind of faith that prays today and prays tomorrow. Right. And prays tomorrow and prays the next day. And prays the next day and prays the next day. When He comes, will He find that kind of faith? Yeah. Will He find you still being faithful to your prayer life? Will He find you still being faithful to God? Will He find you still being faithful to, to going to church? Will He find you still being faithful in your relationship with Him? Listen, there's much to be said about faithfulness. Amen. Amen? That's true. We look at a lot of things and we give people a lot of credit for a lot of things, but I'm telling you, God honors faithfulness. He, that's way up on His scale of things He honors. Yes, sir. We just read the Scripture Sunday. I'll read it again to you tonight. But it goes a little bit something like this. Well done, thou good and faithful servant. You've been faithful over a few things. I, I'll listen to me. You've been faithful over a few things. Amen. Amen. You, may not, you may feel like tonight you ain't been able to keep it all. You ain't been able to be faithful in everything. You haven't had you been faithful in a few things. Amen. God's looking for some people that can be faithful in a few things. And He's going to make you ruler over many things. Amen. Is He going to find you being faithful? Amen. Faithful in your prayer life. Faithful reading the Word of God. Faithful to going to church. Faithful to worship when you are at church. Faithful to pray. Amen. You've been faithful over a few things. I'll make you ruler over many. Enter into the joy of the Lord. Oh, yes. Amen. 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 <laughs> Praise God. Oh, brother, I've got to be perfect. That don't sound like perfect to me. Right. He didn't say you've been faithful in all things. Uh -huh. He said, Brother Tyler, you've been faithful in a few things. Ah, 
Hallelujah. You've been faithful in a few things. I'm going to make you, under my son of my, I'm going to make you rule over many. Right. Amen. Come on. You've been faithful over a few things. Come on, preach. This little woman here, she just kept coming back. She was yeah. faithful in her prayer life. Right. She was faithful to ask. And that's what he's showing us a picture of prayer. Come on. Amen. Like I said, there's some knotheads out there will tell you, just pray once. Come on. Don't pray anymore. Yeah. I've been around long enough to hear about everything. I think I have anyway, but then one day I hear something and I'm like, well, I hadn't heard it all. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Just when you think you've heard everything, bam! Yeah. You haven't. Another one. Just when you think you've seen everything, bam! You haven't. Amen. All right. Somebody told me one time, they said, well, a lady at church told me that it was time for me to quit praying for my son. Mm. That I've prayed long enough for him. I said, wait a minute, let's stop right there. <laughs> That lady at church don't know what she's talking about. All right. Nowhere in the Word of God will you find God saying, listen, I just want you to quit praying for that person. Yeah. Amen? Come on. I just That's want true. you to quit praying for them. True. I know that we pray and we get frustrated because it seems like they never change. Mm -hmm. God hears every prayer that we pray. Yes. No prayer that you have ever prayed was prayed in vain. Amen. No tear that you ever cried was wept in vain. Amen. He said he's got a bottle up there that he's putting yeah. new tears in. Amen. Right. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> he's got a bottle up there. Mama's got your tears in it. Yes. Come on. I got a feeling he doesn't have to trade your bottle in for a barrel. Amen. Hallelujah. Right. But he's got those tears stored up. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. The tears. Oh, I could preach this morning. Go ahead. This ain't even this morning. Let her go. I ain't used to preaching this good on Tuesday night. Let her rip. He's a... Listen, up there somewhere, there's Sister Martine's tears. I cannot tell you the times that woman wrote me and asked me to pray for her lost loved ones. Somewhere up there, there's a there's Sister Martine's tears. And those tears still testify to the prayers. Still testify to all the prayers, all the tears that she wept. Come on. All the prayers that she prayed. Yes. When you die, your prayers don't die with you. Amen. Can you let that sink in? Yes. Amen. Your prayers that granddaddy and grandma prayed for you. Uh -huh. Amen. They're still being answered today. On, They're still going up before the Lord today. Yes. Those tears are still stored up today. Yes. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. You Hallelujah. may think you're praying for nothing. You may think you're praying in vain. <laughs> No prayer that you've ever prayed. Seeking God is not in vain. Come on. Amen. Come on. Your prayers. I, don't know, I can't get it. I can't hold on. I don't know. I'll get hit myself. Let it rip. Be faithful. Be faithful in prayer. Yes. Amen. Yes. But we get tired. We get frustrated. Come on. Can anybody be a witness with me tonight? Is that just Brother yes. Billy? We get tired. We get frustrated. Amen. We get discouraged. Amen. Amen. The Bible says, and let us not be weary in well-doing. For in due season we shall reap if we faint not. If we don't quit praying. In due season. There's coming a time. Oh, you might have been praying for years and it seemed like ain't nothing happened. Yeah, but hold on. That season's coming. In due season, if you faint not, you're going to reap that which you've sowed. Amen. Those prayers that you planted for your loved ones, they're going to come up. You're going to reap from that. Amen. If you faint not, he said, what did he say? Men ought always to pray and to faint not. Amen. Don't be weary in your prayer life tonight. You pray for your finances, it seems like they just keep getting worse. You pray for your health, it seems like it just keeps getting worse. You pray for your husband or your, your mama or your daddy or your cousin or your sister. You pray for your own health and it seems like it hasn't helped any. Brother Billy, what am I supposed to do now? Let me tell you, it's real deep. I hope you can get it. Keep on praying. Keep on asking. Keep on knocking. Keep on seeking. Keep on, don't faint. Don't give up on the verge of your miracle. Don't give up just about the time your breakthrough's about to come. Hallelujah. Amen. Old Daniel began to seek the Lord. Yes. And he started, he set his face to fast and to pray. Yes. And he prayed the first day. Yes. And he didn't hear nothing. Right. And he didn't see nothing. He prayed the second day. Amen. And he didn't hear nothing. Amen. And he didn't see nothing. He prayed the third day. Yes. And he didn't hear nothing. Come on. And he didn't see nothing. Come on. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He prayed the 11th day. 
By now his flesh is starting to whisper to him more than likely. <laughs> By now his friends are probably thinking, look at Daniel. Yeah. Must be backslid. Can't hear from God. Amen. Praise the Lord. <clears throat> Pray for the 11th day. Nothing happened, Brother Hunter. 12th day. Nothing happened. Mm. 13th day. I don't believe he just got up in the morning and just said one prayer. I believe he was seeking God. Continually. Continually. Yeah. Amen. Continually. He prayed. He prayed. Because we could bring it all the way down to the first hour. It didn't happen. Right. Second hour. It didn't happen. Right. Finally, it gets all the way up to day 20. Still praying. Still seeking God. Yeah. Could have stopped on day 20. Right. Thank God he didn't. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Finally, when the breakthrough came. See, some people stopped on day 20. Yeah. When day 21 was just right around the corner. Mm. Amen. Praise the Lord. Don't stop praying for your loved ones. Don't stop praying for your lost brother. Don't stop praying for your lost sister. Don't stop praying for that one that's sick. Don't stop praying for your church. Don't stop praying for your pastor. Don't stop praying for each other. Don't stop praying for that which you need so desperately from God. Come on. Day 21. Yes. What did the angel of the Lord tell him? I heard you the first day. First time he I heard you the first day. Praise the Lord. But there was a spiritual battle going on. Right. See, there's some things that goes on in the spirit that we can't see, Brother Dave. That's right. Amen. Brother. You think ain't nothing happening. Come on. You think ain't nothing happening. Oh, there may be something happening just above the surface that you can't oh, see right. with your natural eyes. Amen. Right. Uh, <laughs> my Lord. Praise the Lord. He said unto me, Fear not, Daniel. Uh, For from the, and it's Daniel 10 and 12 if you want to go there. But fear not, Daniel. For from the first day that thou didst set thine heart to understand and to chasten thyself before thy God, thy words were heard. And I come for thy words because of your prayers. Because of your prayers is why I'm here. Because of your prayer. What are we talking about? We're talking about being faithful in prayer. Yes, sir. There's a man in the book of Acts by the name of Cornelius. All right. Y'all remember him? Amen. Acts, the 10th chapter, and the first verse. Turn over there and look at this with me. Acts, the 10th chapter. We're talking about being faithful yeah. in prayer. True. We're talking about not giving up, holding on. Holding on. Being found faithful. Yes. Amen. Come on. Well done, thou good and faithful, faithful servant. You've been faithful over a few things. I'm going to make you ruler over many. Enter thou into the joy of the Lord. Praise the Lord. My, my, my. Praise the the Lord. joy that's set before us. Right. Acts 10 and, and 1. There was, a, there was a certain man in Caesarea called Cornelius, a centurion of the band called the Italian band, a devout man, one that feared God with all his house, which gave much alms to the people. And what's it say next? Prayed to God always. And prayed to God always. Oh, that old man's just praying for nothing. Well, he's a Gentile for one thing. What's he doing praying to that Hebrew God? Amen. Come on. He ain't even one of those. He ain't even one of those Jesus called people. Come on. He's not one of that crowd. <clears throat> Amen. Amen. Because at the time, and the Lord would even had to move upon Peter to get him to come there because Peter thought he's unclean. I can't go over there. <laughs> Amen. But listen what happens. A devout man, he feared God and prayed to God always. He saw in a vision, evidently about the ninth hour of the day, an angel of God coming to him and saying unto him, Cornelius, see, even though much of the church at that time didn't care who he was, God knew him by name. Amen. And when he looked on him, he was afraid. And he said, what is it, Lord? And he said unto him, oh, look at this with me. Thy prayers and thine alms are come up for a memorial before God. It doesn't say how long he'd been praying, but do you notice it does use the plural when it says thy prayers 
and thine alms are come up for a memorial before God. You do notice that it says that he prayed to God always. Amen. Yeah. You do notice that we find this man being a man faithful in prayer. Amen. Amen. The Bible says the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. There's more to that effectual fervent prayer than there is just being able to grab a microphone and spit and sputter until you ain't got no breath left as you pray a powerful prayer. It has something to do with faithfulness as well. Amen. Amen. Being a man or a woman of prayer. Amen. This was a man of prayer. And because of his prayers for his family, because of that which he had sent up to God, the prayers, this angel said, thy prayers and thine alms are come up for a memorial before God. Come on. Um, what is the memorial for? To remember. To remember. remember. To remember. To remember. To remember. Amen. All those prayers that Mama Fitchers prayed that went up to be a memorial has become a memorial before God. Amen. Amen. When he sees this. He remembers Jerry, amen, who you may think you prayed for till you blew in the face and ain't nothing going to happen. I got news for you. There's a new season that's coming, amen, and God and salvation is going to visit his house, amen, because those prayers are not going to be found in vain because it is not vain to seek our God. Hallelujah. Praise. Thank you. Those prayers are a memorial. Praise the Lord. Now I know in our eyes we see a memorial as a big piece of stone. That's not exactly how it is. But he had to put it that way so we would know what he was talking about. Amen. Yeah. He's talking about these prayers are a reminder to God. Oh, hallelujah. Even after our loved ones are already gone, amen, he's letting us know he's got their tears in a bottle. He's got their prayers as a memorial. Their prayers are not going to have not fallen on deaf ears. They will not fall in vain, amen. They did not seek God for nothing. He is going to visit them. <laughs> That's what he's doing to the house of Cornelius. Right. Because of his prayers. Because of his prayers and his seeking God. His prayers came up as a memorial before God. Amen. That's the truth. It says in verse 5, And now send men to Joppa and call for one Simon whose surname is Peter. He lodgeth with one Simon a tanner whose house is by the seaside. He shall tell thee what thou oughtest to do. Isaiah 45 and 19 says, have, I have not spoken in secret in a dark place of the earth. I said not unto the seed of Jacob, Seek ye me in vain. I, the Lord, speak righteousness. I declare things that are right. He was saying there in the book of Isaiah, I didn't tell you to seek me so that you would seek me in vain. He's not telling us to pray so that our prayers will be found in vain and useless. Cornelius had been faithful in prayer. So much so that his prayers had came up before the Lord and was a memorial, a reminder uh, for the house of Cornelius. Come on. My, 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 my. You go ahead and read the rest of the story, the rest of the chapter. You'll find out that old Peter, finally when the Lord convinced him that everybody can be included in this. Not just the circumcised or the uncircumcised, but everybody. Whosoever will, let him come. You remember, he would show him the sheet that descended from heaven that had the unclean animals on it. And he would say to Peter, Peter, arise and eat. And Peter would say, not so. I haven't touched any unclean. I haven't eaten any unclean thing. And the Lord said, what I've made clean, don't you call unclean. Oh, hallelujah. He would have to convince Peter of this or he would have never went to the house of Cornelius. Come on, preach. Amen. What I've cleaned, don't you call unclean. Right. Amen. True. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So he goes to the house of Cornelius, and you know what happens? Cornelius calls his friends in and his kinsmen. Mm. Peter preaches. Right. The Holy Ghost falls. Amen. Bunch of them gets filled with the Holy Ghost. Yes. Right. Bunch of them goes down to the river to get baptized. Amen. Why? Because of the faithful prayers of one man. Yes. Because of the faithful prayers of one man. Amen. I don't know why I keep going back to this. I certainly didn't know the woman. She was dead and gone long before I ever came along. I don't even remember her name usually when I tell the story, but Mama can tell me. That old lady that prayed and scared you, who was she? My 
Ain't any. Grandma's sister. Yeah. Off up there somewhere, calling out to God. I ain't sure any of us would be here in my family if it wasn't for a little crazy ain't any. Yeah. Amen. That's how much I believe our prayers are, are meaningful to God. Who knows that her prayers didn't come up as a memorial before God? Amen. Like most of the rest of the family is bootleggers. Yeah. Amen. But because of the prayers of that old woman. All right. <laughs> Still seeing the fruit of that today. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Every morning. Faithful. Faithful. There's something to be said in being faithful. Yeah. I know sometimes you may think that you're just you're just uh, going through the motions. You may have felt like that when you go to church and you mm -hmm. take your seat and you mm -hmm. you go back out and you just felt like you just went through the motions. Yeah. But don't feel too down on yourself because that's part of being faithful. Amen. Being faithful. Amen. All right. Repetitive, going through it. Sure. Amen. Mm -hmm. Going through those things. Mm -hmm. Being faithful to go to church. Mm -hmm. Being faithful to read the word. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Being faithful to do these things. Mm -hmm. Faithful in your prayer life. Mm -hmm. Faithful. Mm -hmm. Being faithful. So, because of Cornelius, his family, salvation comes to his family. Amen. Come on. The Holy Ghost falls. Because his prayers that he prayed, mm -hmm. God remembered them. Right. Amen. So sometimes when you may feel like you're just going through the motions, keep, keep going on till the going on comes on. Oh, Amen. Right. True. Keep going on. True. Just because you don't feel the Spirit, don't quit coming to church. Amen. Just because you don't understand it when you read it, don't quit reading. Amen. Amen. Just because when you got down this morning and you prayed and it felt like your prayer got almost to the ceiling and bounced back down on top of you, don't let that stop you from praying, Brother Dave. Keep getting down and praying some more. Amen. All right. All right. I prayed and nothing's happened. Praise. What can I do, preacher? What kind of book can I read? What kind of seminar can you send me to? I can give you a one line piece of advice. Come on. Keep on praying. Amen. Yeah. Keep on praying. Keep on knocking. Keep on seeking. Keep on asking. Yes. Pray without ceasing. Oh, pray without ceasing. Amen. Hey, I got that keep on knocking scripture up here. Go with me to Matthew 7 and 7. I'm fixing clothes. Matthew, the seventh chapter. I'll read it to you. It's two verses. Ask and it shall be given. Seek and ye shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. For everyone that asketh receiveth. And he that seeketh findeth. And to him that knocketh it shall be opened. Amen. It doesn't say just ask once. It doesn't say just knock once. Come on. As a matter of fact, the spirit of the scripture leads you to believe that it means ask and keep on asking. Somebody even said in the Greek, that's what it means. I can't tell you that for sure, but that's what they said. I know that sometimes you ask and you don't get it, so you ask again. These kids know what, they're, what I'm talking about. Amen. <clears throat> ask mama the first time and she don't. Do you think they go somewhere and say, Well, I asked once. When Brother Isaac asked me, Can we go to McDonald's? Do you think he just asked me one time and I say, No, we ain't going? Do you think he's satisfied with that? Do you think he thinks he's put forth his best effort? No. He has to keep asking and keep asking and keep asking until finally we're eating a Big Mac. Amen. Amen. God wants us to know. Yes. Just because you asked and you didn't see nothing happen, don't stop asking. Don't stop knocking. Just because you knocked and the door still shut and seemed like it's locked up even tighter, just keep on knocking till the door opens. Keep on seeking until you find it. Amen? Come on, brother. When you lose something, Come on. Brother Dave knows what I'm talking about. Yes, sir. You don't just... Brother Dave, when you lost your keys... Yeah. He didn't just go out there and, well, I looked. Yeah. No. Huh. He sought. Yeah. He looked. Yeah. He yeah. turned over every rock day after day, yeah. looking and shaking. How about that woman that lost the coin? Amen. Yeah. The Bible says she lit the lights in the house, took a broom and started sweeping, looking for what she lost. Amen. Yeah. Just because you ain't got what you needed from God, don't give up on God. He ain't gave up on you. Right. Keep asking, keep knocking, keep seeking. Amen. Oh, glory to God. Right. 
Glory to God. Amen. Just because your loved ones are still lost, don't give up. Amen. Don't give up. Be faithful in prayer. Yes. Be faithful in prayer. She, this little widow woman, and I'm closing. She kept on knocking. Praise the Lord. She kept on praying. Yes. And this unjust judge, mm -hmm. because of her continual coming, yes. because she kept praying, because she kept asking. And this is remember, this is a parable teaching us to pray. All right. Teaching us to pray. It blesses my heart to know that whenever he said to the servant there in Matthew 25 and 21, Well done, thou good and faithful servant. Mm -hmm. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. It blesses my heart to know tonight. And I believe that every word is in this Bible for a reason. Mm -hmm. If you tell me that shouldn't be there, I get a little tickled, tickled at people that think they know better than 54 of the best scholars that ever stepped foot on planet Earth. Amen? All right. That had the original stuff to work True. with and you don't. True. I believe every word is there for a reason. Amen. You've been faithful over a, a few, few things. things. I believe he said that to encourage us. Right. To let us know you ain't always gonna you ain't always gonna hit the mark, Sister Cindy. Amen. That's right. Brother Dave, you ain't always gonna hit the mark. Amen. If you could, he could have stayed in heaven and not had to come and hit and be on that cross. Right. right. Amen. True. But you've been faithful, son, over a few things. I'm going to make you ruler over many. Over many. Amen. Faithful. Thank God. Faithful servant. Thank the Lord. I want to be found faithful. Yes. Amen. Come on. He's not going to find the greatest preacher. He knew that when he called me. He's not going to find the most talented. There are a million people that can sing better than I can, preach better than I can. But I pray that he finds me being faithful. Amen. I pray that he find one of my favorite scriptures in all of the Bible is this right here. Matthew 24 and 45. It's actually three verses. Matthew 24, 45 through 47 says, Who then is a faithful and wise servant, whom his Lord hath made ruler over his household to give him meat in due season? Blessed is that servant whom his Lord, when he cometh, shall find so doing. Verily I say unto you that he shall make him ruler over all his goods. Blessed is that servant whom his Lord, when he cometh, shall find so doing. You see, just as Solomon said in the book of Ecclesiastes, the race is not to the swift, nor the battle to the strong, It's to the faithful. Those that are faithful are the ones that will finish the course that we talked about Sunday morning. Amen. Faithful. Right. Faithful to pray. True. Amen. Amen. It blesses my heart to know people for a long time uh -huh. and to know that they used to live for the Lord mm -hmm. and they still live for the Lord. Yes. To know that they used to believe in the Lord and they still believe in the Lord. True. Amen? True. I met Brother David Nammon's Sister Judy's probably it has to be close to twenty years ago now. Yes. I think it was in it was in the nineties, I know. Yes. <laughs> Brother Dave was playing that guitar then. He played that guitar tonight. Trying. Amen. Oh, brother, more than trying. Holy Ghost trying. all over that. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. All over that. Praise the Lord. Sister Cindy and Brother Scott, Mama Fentress. <laughs> yes. Still living for the Lord today. Amen. Mama done crossed the finish line. Amen. Finish your course. Amen. <laughs> There's something to be said about being faithful. Kept the faith. She kept the faith. Amen. <laughs> be faithful. Yes. In your prayer life. Don't give up on God. Amen. Just because it seems like it ain't happening, just keep right. praying. True. Just keep praying. Amen. Faithful. Yes. Faithful. The book of Revelation says those that come with the Lamb are called, chosen, and faithful. faithful. Right. <laughs> that, that tickles my gizzard. Exactly. Called, chosen, chosen. and faithful. Amen. Be faithful to Him. He will always, always be faithful to you. Amen. That's true.
Oh, somebody else tonight have something before we go. Such a blessing to be in the house of the Lord tonight. Hallelujah.